Hi, what we're doing today is we're going to create a very basic perspective grid in Photoshop. First we use the line tool. You'll see we've created a shape. We rasterize that line tool so we, it allows us to edit the line. Then we're going to copy it using the move tool. You'll see we'll just move up there. The move tool's right at the top of the toolbar. You can see it highlighted. We right click and drag to the right. That will make a duplicate of the line. Then I'm just going to juggle that line up just a little bit. There we go, just to fine tune it. Use the rectangular marquee tool, which we've talked about before. Again, use the move tool, then duplicate again by right clicking on the mouse. And again. And again. And again. Okay, and so we're getting a series of consistent rectangular lines or, or vertical lines across the page. There you can see what we've got. We'll do it one more time. Excellent. Okay, we'll take the rectangular marquee tool, stretch it out slightly so it's stretched right across the page, right click, and that'll make the transformation. We drag and drop onto the bottom of the menu bar or the layer bar. Well, that makes a duplicate of that layer. Now we're going to rotate that layer so we've got a, a, a layer at 90 degrees to the first layer. Just hunting around a little bit. Made a mistake. Alright, we'll switch it on again. Just check it. Okay, we're going to switch that, uh, that layer on one more time make the selection, there we go, edit, transform, rotate, then we rotate through 90 degrees, we can uh, adjust that precisely at the top of the menu bar or just do it by hand, just pos positioning it a little bit and you can see we've now got a square grid across the page. Select those two bars, merge them as a single layer, select a portion of the grid select inverse, press clear, bang, and we've cleared the page and we've now got the starting point for our perspective grid. We've got a face-on grid at this stage. What we're going to do is duplicate that layer, use the transform command, press perspective, move the cursor, the origin, to where we want it, and then just by dragging the grips in each corner, we can now distort that, uh, that grid into whatever position we like. So we've now got a vertical perspective plane. Duplicate it. Use the distort command under transform. All these commands are in a common similar lo in a similar location, and once you get used to using them, they become almost automatic. So I'm using the distort command now, just by eye, just to drag down a horizontal plane that we can use as a basis for a, a perspective. Just moving it up until we get it by eye, a sense of a horizontal plane, and we can use these perspective grids as an underlying plane in the same way that we'd use it on paper as a sketching platform. Once you've got it in position, just double click. Just get a little bit more precise. Double click, there we go. Now we're going to take the layers that we've made, highlight them, merge layers, and now we've got our perspective grid just on one layer and we can begin to build very roughly at this stage for the purpose of this exercise just a rough perspective switching to the pencil tool in black I'll just sketch a few lines in obviously this is just indicative it's not intended to be precise you can spend a lot more time setting this up this is just as a guide just to suggest how we've got that now we've got the perspective grid as an underlayer and we're now progressively going to build a perspective up and you can do this the same yourself easy as pie just drawing in a horizon line just quickly. I deleted that back. I'll put it on a separate layer so I can move it if I want. But we place a horizontal line across the page. Okay. 
There's our horizon line. We can use that as an eye level for any figures that we're drawing in the picture. For quick conceptual sketching, this might be an entry design or something that you've, you've come up with. Obviously a little bit more polished than this, but uh, for the purpose of the exercise, this will do for the moment. Okay, so just a reminder now what we've done in this session, just the key tools that we're looking at. We've used the line command. We've used the pencil tool on the menus on the left hand side. We've looked at some of the transformations that we can do to lines. That's duplicating it using the move command, uh, the scale on the transform, uh, rotate on the transform, and we've also had a little bit of a look at the layers menu on the right hand side there. You've seen how we can duplicate a layer by dragging it down, merging layers by right clicking on the mouse and choosing off the menu. So we've done a, a fair cross section of, of little exercises there that hopefully you can uh, fool around with in your own time. Okay, good luck with that. Bye.